Your number one source for the latest news and analysis, offering a different mindset for news, religion, hip hop, and politics. Welcome to the Shadow News Network. In a stunning turn of events, the young Dolph murder case takes a dramatic twist as an insider accepts a plea deal. Jamarcus Johnson, the half brother of one of the gunmen of murdering young Dolph just pled guilty to three counts of accessory after the fact. Now, he's not directly involved in the fatal shooting, but Johnson was charged with helping his half-brother escape from Memphis. Now, prosecutors they dropped a conspiracy charge citing lack of evidence of prior knowledge. Now, the case has captivated the nation, especially the hip-hop community, ever since young Dolph was murdered in 2021 man this is horrible and i wish i was in a position that i could say that this was shocking but in the hip-hop community we are so used and we are so prone to this type of violence and we're so adjusted we have adjusted our minds to accept this type of violence and i also wish that i could say that justice is being served and this legal process is just so undiscriminatory and you know that truth will prevail and that people who are responsible for violent crimes are held accountable and you know all these good things but i tell you this man i don't believe that there can ever be justice in america until america atones for its actions and all of its transgressions against individuals that it has victimized. You know, so when I think about the pursuit of freedom and the pursuit of justice, I can never think of America because America is not doing what it's supposed to do for its own citizens. But what I can do is have the hope that America can be what it is truly designed to be. And that is a nation of different individuals different races and religions and cultures and things of that nature coming together and working together to achieve you feel what i'm saying but we got to let this type of situation even though it's a tragedy and rest in peace to young Dolph, you know but we got to try to take all of this, this this these lemons and make lemonade you know so i hope that we can try to i hope these situations inspire us to seek justice and truth in our own life so live your truth and strive to make a positive impact stand with your community stand up in your community against wrongdoing and support those who are affected by injustice because i once read that injustice anywhere affects justice everywhere and i believe that we can create a world where justice can really prevail and that people can feel safe and they can feel protected, but it starts in our own community. We can no longer depend on these other individuals and these other aliens outside of our community to protect our own community. We have to do for ourselves right now. And the motto is unify or die. You have to work toward your own future and that future has to be a better future. What are you willing to do right now? Are you willing to sacrifice right now to work toward a better future? Those are my thoughts. Listen, I've got to thank you for watching the Shadow News Network. Hope you found this coverage and this courage engaging. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel for the latest news and analysis reminding you to be a protector stand for justice stay fearless and be a warrior we'll get a shadow news network